Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, November 7th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. After hearing about some exploits being released for the latest Atlassian Confluence Data Center and Server vulnerability, I took a look today at our data to see if we do actually see any exploitation attempts against this vulnerability. This is CVE 2023-22518, and the URLs involved here are all starting with JSON slash setup dash restore. There are sort of three different here, one local and also progress uh, URL that's being used here. Apparently, it's also required that you are using an x token header with a no check parameter. On GitHub, you'll easily find three different exploits for this vulnerability. I haven't tested them yet. They do look legit. One is a bit more complex, uh, appears to add some additional functionality, including looking for another URL slash rest slash API slash user. The first exploit attempt we have seen came from 206.189.179.132. This is a digital ocean IP and haven't really seen much from that IP before. Back in March, they also looked for slash T4, which I believe is associated with web logic. Now, this initial attempt, I posted a complete request in uh, the diary that I wrote today about this does actually not include the token header. So this may just be a quick check if that particular system is actually running at Lation and whether or not that URL is reachable. There are then a couple of other URLs that have exploited this vulnerability in the last few days. Two from India, there's also another US-based cloud provider and a Canadian consumer IP, Rogers, that's uh, also being used to exploit this vulnerability. Now, one interesting part here is that second sort of unrelated URI, REST API user. The way I've seen this being exploited, and apparently it's actually an older vulnerability they're really going for here uh, is that the username is then set to something like, you know, a police patch or uh, police patch now. So a couple of usernames that are supposed to alert an administrator that this particular instance needs patching. I doubt this is really all that effective, but uh, still kind of interesting to see. Of course, we also see things like system user and administrator. It's not that all of these attackers are just trying to notify administrators. So in short, keep patching your Atlassian instances if you still haven't. And at this point, if you're running Confluence Data Center and Server, assume compromise. And if you're worried about data exfiltration, you may want to take a look at the Google Threat Horizons report. They're describing their uh, method that at least they have seen proof of concept exploits for, but uh, don't think they've seen anything in the wild that uses Google Calendar in order to exfiltrate data. Kind of makes sense. A lot of these uh, cloud uh, sync kind of features are easily exploitable in order to exfiltrate data and of course often fly under the radar because these cloud endpoints are typically considered uh, trusted. We actually had a while ago, I think I had him here on the podcast, a paper from a sans.edu student who wrote about uh, doing basically the same with uh, browser bookmarks and syncing them across cloud services and using them in order to basically establish a two-way uh, channel. So uh, take a look at some of these trusted cloud resources, whether or not you need to do any uh, further investigation here and not just sort of allow list them and uh, not investigate what data is being sent. You should be able to notice some of this activity 
just by looking at data volume, because typically calendar invites are fairly small and not too many of them are necessarily being sent at any time. So the bandwidth would be quite low unless, of course, you sort of exceed the average uh, activity here by probably a couple orders of magnitude. And then we got a couple of uh, new vulnerabilities uh, to talk about. First of all, the backup tool Veeam has a new update out for its uh, Veeam One monitoring platform. It fixes critical vulnerabilities with CVSS space scores of 9.8 and 9.9, .9, allowing remote code execution and also stealing NTLM hashes. And QNAP released updates for its network storage devices, fixing issues with the multimedia console and the media streaming add-on. These issues are considered uh, critical. Probably my advice here is with all of these devices that come pre-installed with sort of a bunch of additional uh, features, try to eliminate the features you don't need. Uh, this is really important that you sort of limit your attack surface for these devices. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.